Hey everyone, welcome back for some more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. Now let's begin with the next episode. Right now. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But, little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. All right, Australia. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. Sly Cooper and the gang in Rumble Down Under. All right, let's go find Murray's guru and see if we can stop this minor business. I really don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to try, but we're in Australia at 8.14 p.m. That's the important part. And they really did a lot on this place, holy crap. There's a sly right there on top of the crane. Dang, there's a bunch of guards everywhere, but don't worry, we all found a convenient safe house in the middle of all it. All right. Well, here's the part where uh, you could choose which what you want to do. Um, uh, at this point, I'm just gonna say no. But I will have two links set up. That way, you can hit yes and go see more training with uh, Murray, if you would so like. But uh, for this point, I'm just gonna say no, just to move on. All right. So let's check the thief net real quick, and we got more stuff. The Berserker Charge, a Spin Attack Level 2, and the Health Extractor. Sweet. That's good stuff. Alright. The miners now have really any... tore this place up looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. Right. So now, a lot of guards here. So now what you want to do is just make your way quickly over there, and we'll begin. Oh, there's a guard here first. That's not good. Get out of the way. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call Master must be heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Seems more of a creepy fellow. Seems like Yoda. Himself in the little parodies on the, on the storytelling. Uh, when I first played this, I had no idea that that was supposed to be a reference at all. But this guy's definitely based around Yoda. Sly, 
Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Alright. So I didn't even look inside the cave. What is that cave? Just that? That's it? Just a dark wall? Anyway. Enough criticizing slides and ability to look inside caves. Crap, crap. There's way too many miners around here. A crocodile instead of a murky swamp? That's gross. Okay. Jump. Just pick your pocket. You're up. This place is packed with wall hooks. The miners must use them to haul up their drills. Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice. Alright. Where are we professionals at this? And take a good look at the scenery while we're up here. See if he's in this tent. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. All right, let's make our way over there. Let's hop down. Can we hold trampolines here? There, please, grandly. Oh well. Convenience is Sly's best friend. Besides Bentley and Murray, of course. These miners right, have climb. no respect for the Aboriginal sacred sites. They're drilling into everything. Ayers Rock. Kings Canyon, Wave Rock, the cultural insensitivity is sickening. Man, what jerks. We'll have to change that. And let's get three more. Sweet. Alright, see if the guru is here. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how are you so bad? You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Huh. Well, this is a predicament. We need to get him out of there. So that means we gotta get his gear back. So let's find out what's going on. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayers Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased and the guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage through one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the mask of dark earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. So 
sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. Oh, so many memories. But, you know, it's good to rely on the past. Alright then, I'm going to cut it here. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.